Now, I have a pretty large portion of scripture that I want to share with you, and normally I don't try to share this many scriptures because people kind of lose their focus, but Psalm 139, 1 through 18 are absolutely phenomenal, and I think they're going to really encourage you if you'll pay attention. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. Well, when God says he knows you, let me tell you, he knows you. You know, a lot of people that even work here might say, well, I know Joyce. Well, they may know me, but they don't know me like Dave does. And Dave doesn't even know me like God does. When God says he knows you, let me tell you, there's nothing about you that God doesn't know. He knows things about you that you haven't even admitted. You know when I sit down and you know when I get up. You perceive my thoughts afar off. Just think about that. God knows everything about you. He sees everything that you do. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar, God, with all my ways. In other words, there's nothing about you that's surprising or shocking to God. Before a word is on my tongue, Lord, you know it completely. God knows what we're going to say before we even say it. He knows what we're going to think before we even think it. Nobody knows you like God knows you. You hem me in behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. You ever feel like that, that God's got you in a place where you can't go forward and you can't go backward? You're just there waiting for God to do something. Well, he will if you just keep crying out to him. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It's too lofty for me to obtain. Let me tell you, the work that God does in our life is too wonderful for us to even begin to understand it. Where can I go from your spirit, God? Where can I flee from or hide from your presence? If I go to heaven, you're there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn or I settle on the far side of the sea, God, you are there. Even then, your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Can I tell you, there's nowhere where you can get away from God. He is everywhere all the time. And his hand is upon you. And God's got a plan for your life. And I'm just going to say this the best way I know how to, the gentlest way I know how to. If you persist in going your own way, your life is going to be pretty miserable. But if you'll surrender your life to Christ today, you can know a life that you cannot even begin to imagine right now. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light will become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to God. <laughs> There's nowhere we can hide from God. You can't hide in the dark. You can't go high enough or deep enough. God knows every place where we're at, and he knows everything that we do. Now listen to this. For you, God, did create my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. God, with his very own hand, purposely knit you together in your mother's womb. You are not a mistake. God made you specially. There's nobody else on earth like you. Nobody has your fingerprints. Nobody has your DNA. Don't let the devil or anybody else convince you that you're a mistake, that there's no plan or no purpose for you. If that's what you've been thinking, then your thinking has been all wrong because God wants you. He has a plan for you and a purpose for your life. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, and I know that quite well. I love the boldness of the psalmist David. He said, you created me. Wonderful are your works. I mean, what was he saying other than, God, you have made me a wonder? I am wonderful. The way you have made me is wonderful. So right now today, you can stop being against yourself. You can stop hating yourself and rejecting yourself and thinking that you're not okay because you're not like everybody else. Right now today, you can accept yourself as someone handmade, handpicked by God 
made very special and God has a special plan for your life. Your eyes saw my unformed substance and all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them even came into being. I love that. Dave has, uh, God has a book and he's written every day of all of our lives in that book before we ever show up on planet earth. How precious are your thoughts toward me, O oh God. Now listen to this. How vast is the sum of them. If I were to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. And when I awake, I'm still with you. God has you on his mind all the time. There's never been a moment in your life when God has not loved you and there will never be a moment in his life when he will love you any more than he does right now. And you say, well, that can't be possible. God can't possibly love me, not with the things I've done. Well, God is love. It's not something he does sometimes and doesn't do other times. He is love. And what he wants us to do is respond to that love. Jesus said, if you love me, you will obey me. He wants us to learn his word and live a life of obedience to him. He didn't say, if you obey me, I will love you. He said, if you love me, you will obey me. And the reason why people don't obey God is because they don't love him enough to obey him. The more you fall in love with Jesus, the more and more you're going to want to do what he wants you to do. We hope you enjoyed this teaching. To get more from Joyce, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.